I want you guys to go ahead and enroll in the free money management course. The link is in the description. This course will help you optimize your money and set you up to be on the best financial path possible. Links below. I was having this conversation with some friends years ago and we we're at the table we we're having lunch and we we're discussing you know i was with one two three other business owners and there was a table of maybe eight people and these other people had jobs right and they were like well you know you business owners you can do what you want and you're free to do and we all just started laughing and it became very clear that many people have no concept to the work life of a business owner because typically and this is really true if you enjoy the business if you really enjoy the business you enjoy the customers there's no work-life balance when i first started let's go way back at the beginning my first business selling new office furniture that was Honestly, I'm gonna say the least time intensive business because typically everything happened during business hours. And I met clients between hours of nine and five. Sometimes I met people really early, but from a perspective of work-life balance, that was the simplest, the easiest business that I ever had because I was working pretty much 55, 60 hours a week pretty much every weekend off. Then let's go to the second business. The second business is where work-life balance completely exploded, the storage auction business. Once I got into it, because there, there were so many things you had to do. Number one, you had to go to the auctions. And they didn't have these auctions when you wanted them to have the auctions. They had these auctions at their leisure. So you had to be there to go to auctions. And this is one of the things that used to really, really just drive me crazy. Some of these places would give you 24 hours. Some of these places would give you 48 hours to clean out the unit. You're buying units during the day, going to the auctions, and then in in the evenings and at night, you're cleaning out the units. So this created a situation of extremely long days, really, really long days. I worked 12 to 16 hours a day, Monday through Friday, for years, for years. And then we had the thing we did on the weekends. I would get up early, go put the signs out. There was the weekend sales. And then sometimes I would also sell some stuff on Sunday. So that business, there was no such thing as a work-life balance. There was none what there was none of that in any aspect of that business. And then we will go to the YouTube business. And the YouTube business beginning about 12 hours. And the YouTube business was a business that shifted, it changed. 2009, 2010, 2011-ish. That's when it started to switch up because once you go ahead and get the YouTube online business built, it's a lot easier to manage. Um, so I actually see this business by December being much easier to manage because I've done it before. The whole work-life balance thing doesn't come at the beginning of the business. And that's why we were at lunch and we were at the table. We just, all of us who were on businesses started laughing because when you own the business, there's always something to do. And this is one of the reasons that I laugh at all of these people who are selling stuff online, talking about you can go ahead and create a very profitable business and only work two or three hours a week in the beginning. Now you can set up a business and you can get to that point three, four, five, six, seven years in the future where you can have extreme work-life balance. I had a friend whose father was a doctor. You know, I was like, oh, your doctor was, all, your, your dad was always gone. He said, no, he was always home. He was home more than my mom. And this doctor ran a physical occupation clinic where he went to work 10 to four. And after four, he was home. So it really depends upon what business you're running, the things that you're doing, the things that you're setting up. But one of the biggest things, and I see this as a sales lead that 
you can make all of this money, right? You can make all of this money and then you can be over here as a free, let's call it your entrepreneur life and your free person life. Your entrepreneur life, you go to work, say three hours and you make, let's say $15,000 per month. So you go work three hours, Monday through Friday, which is going to be 15 hours, which is going to be 60 hours a month. And you make $15,000 per month, right? You got people out here in the average American workforce working 160 hours plus to make $3,000 a month. And it just, once again, the math doesn't, doesn't add up. The math doesn't make any sense because here's the thing. In the beginning, when you're starting your business, you got a lot of things to do. Now, as you become more in tune with your business, as you learn your business, as you hire employees, as you get staff, as you get things going on, it's just going to get easier and easier and easier. And I feel today that you can build a business. I'm going to say in three years, start from scratch, build that business in three years. And then that third year, you will start to get all of this time to be a parent, to hang out with your girlfriend or hang out with your wife. You will be at that point where you will have free time. But in the beginning, it ain't happening. It's simply not happening. And this is one of the things that I consistently see perpetrated online as you can start a business. And I always laugh at people. It's like, I'm starting a business so I can have more free time. But that, that just, that cracks me up because I think people have this perception that when you're the business owner and you just getting started, there's this perception that you're gonna have all of this free time. And the reality is it's just simply not true because especially in the beginning, and if you're someone that is wedded or engaged to an entrepreneur, you gotta understand, especially during those beginning years, they're not gonna have a lot of time. And this is one of the things because uh, I was watching someone who was talking to his wife about being an entrepreneur and um, you know, his, his, his wife seems to be highly self-sustainable so she doesn't always need him to be around. And she was saying, you know, you've gotten better. And she also said that when we go on vacation, the vacation time starts at like 12 because you got to get up in the morning, you got to do your stuff. So even when you get to that level, there's still things to do. Now, once again, being able to go on the vacation and then at 12 o'clock, just break, drop everything and don't worry about it for the rest of the day and enjoy your vacation. That sounds pretty good. However, once again, we're talking about unseasoned folks, unseasoned folks. These unseasoned people are just going to be unknowing, not having the proper situation, not having the proper setup of understanding that as a business owner, you're just not going to have a bunch of free time, especially in the beginning of the business, especially. And th this is one of the reasons that when I see these things online, I just start cracking up because this is the dream. This is the dream. Quit your job, start a business and make three, four, five, six, ten times more than you were making on your job in your business and have all of this free time to be at home to be now i will tell you one of the things that gives people this impression successful in internet people successful youtubers because if you're running a really successful youtube channel all people see is the video they don't see the you know the background work and i can tell you that the top youtubers are working more than 40 hours a week I can tell you that from personal experience, but you only see a snapshot. You only see their Instagrams. You only see a snippet, a snippet of their life. And the, the reality is you don't see the total thing that goes into building these businesses and everyone. And this is one of the reasons that so many people want to be an internet person because there's this, there's this thought process that being an internet person, these folks don't work that hard. They don't work that long. And then they have the time and the situation to do all of these fun things 
without restraint, without the personal withholding. But I can tell you, you know, work-life balance is deeply, deeply troubling because so many people have no clue to the things that it takes to set up and run a successful business. And one of the things that you will have to do is learn how to hire people. That's the first thing that's going to liberate you from your business, having staff, having highly trained, capable staff. That's gonna be one of the things that's going to liberate you. And I have a friend, he has a business, I think they have like 75 employees and he has a management team. And my friend is at home so much that his neighbors thought he was retired because he was always home. Now, was his business like that in the beginning? No, it was not. Uh, he's been in business 17, 18 years. And for the last seven, it's been kind of like what it is now. So. You can build a business, get it built up, get it making money, get it fully staffed, and then go off and have that freedom lifestyle that is really, really possible. But for the average person who isn't familiar with business owners and the business owner life, like uh, I've had people write me and um, it was like, my father was an entrepreneur. He was never home. He ever had any free time. There's no way in the world that I would be an entrepreneur. And the children of entrepreneurs frequently do not want to go into that life because of all the pressures and stuff that come with it, right? And then there's another group of entrepreneurs who've educated themselves and build up really good businesses. Their kids can't wait to take over the business. I have a client she has four children and the way that her business was built, she was always able to be home. She was always able to be around and her kids love the fact that they have a business and the kids cannot wait to grow up and take it over because they see it as a good thing. So it really depends on what your exposure to the business was. But hands down for that single person who starts a business, there ain't no work-life balance. There's no such thing. It's, it's a complete joke. But in time, in the future, in the future, you can have this amazing situation that will do really well for you that will build out your business. But once again, it really depends on what you're exposed to, what you have built, what you have created, and what you're working on at the moment. So. That's my thoughts on the work-life balance. It's just simply not going to happen for the average entrepreneur, especially at the beginning. Now, with hiring of the proper people, that frees you up and that creates the situation where you can have that work-life balance three, four, five, six, seven years in the future, but it ain't happening at the beginning. It's just simply not happening at, happening at the beginning. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. My name is Glendon Cameron. Be sure to get into the money management course. It will teach you how to optimize your money, teach you how to set certain things up. So I will see you guys in the next video.